Does Barack Obama's official portrait contain secret images of sperm? Hey, thanks for watching. Today, we've got a great one. So, the official presidential portrait of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama uh, were unveiled yesterday. And they were a bit unusual, a little bit uh, untraditional, which is fine, which is totally cool. And there have been some charges about the portrait of Obama, which I find hysterical. Uh, today, we're going to look into them. I'm going to give you uh, what people are saying, what people are claiming is not true. I'll give you the evidence and let you decide for yourself what you think. So this is on Snopes. It was posted three hours ago. Does Barack Obama's official portrait contain secret images of sperm? Far-right pundits went off the deep end after African-American artist Gehinde Wiley's portrait of Barack Obama was unveiled. And uh, here's the, the claim. The claim is that the official portrait of the former president, Barack Obama, contains secretly placed images of sperm cells, including one on his forehead. And the rating from Snopes is false. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at this. If you haven't seen the official portrait, um, so Kehinde Wiley is the artist. And uh, full disclosure, I have been to one of his exhibits before. I went to one in Seattle a couple of years ago, and I thought it was really cool. And, uh, you know, I like his stuff, so I have nothing against him at all. Um, but what people are saying, so Obama has a vein on his forehead. A lot of people have veins, and Obama has a prominent one on the side of his head. And it appears to be in the shape of a sperm cell. And I'll let you decide for yourself whether you think it is or not. So here's a picture, uh, the way it is in the official portrait. And here's a picture of it, uh, of what is the sperm cell uh, highlighted so you can see what we're talking about. So what I find funny is Snopes just dismisses this outright as being an insane conspiracy theory. And uh, we'll get into the artist, some of his previous works, and uh, you can decide whether or not there's any merit to the claim or not. But first of all, I want to say, even if it's true, who cares, right? This is funny. <laughs> but listen to the way that Snope sends the article here. They say, but although both sources were correct in pointing out that some of Wiley's previous works featured tiny images of sperm cells meant to mock the highly charged masculinity, as one art critic put it, that so often characterizes classic Western portraiture, they leapt a bit too eagerly to the conclusion that a faithfully reproduced vein popping out of Obama's forehead is, in fact, a giant sperm cell. Well, I don't know. Who am I supposed to believe, right? You're saying it's a faithfully reproduced vein, and when I look at it, I don't know any veins <laughs> that are shaped like that. In fact, here's Obama's face. This is what his vein looks like. And here's what the portrait looks like. <laughs> uh, that's the thing that, that cracks me up about Snopes, is they can just flat out deny things, and you, you, you can look at them with your own eyes, and you may draw a different conclusion, but they're the arbiter of truth, right? They, they decide what is true or not. <laughs> so let's look at who Kehinde Wiley is. He's an American artist, uh, African-American. Here's how he was presented it at one of his uh, exhibits. As a self-identified gay man, the artist is also interested in how individuals are looking at a portrait. He offers us a portrait of seduction that may be interpreted differently depending on the viewer's sexual identity. See, so the artist is into this. This is his thing, and this is what artists do. They push boundaries, and they present their own point of view, and I think it's really cool what Kehinde is doing here. So I've looked through his catalog, and he most of the time portrays gay men of color in a somewhat homoerotic way, which is 
you know, fine, cool. That's his thing. Now, why Obama chose him, I don't know. But, you know, I think he's a cool artist. But to say that he hasn't used sperm in all of his past works is a, <laughs> is a bit of a stretch. In fact, here's something that, was, uh, that he auctioned off. And here it is. It's a bright red canvas with a bunch of sperm on it. And it's entitled Sperm Painting 2002. <laughs> No, this isn't his thing, right? This is not what he's into. <laughs> so here's a portrait he did previously. It's an interpretation of David's Napoleon. In the article about it, it says, Wiley embeds tiny swimming sperm in the red background as a reference to African male virility or potentially promiscuity. And this is what the art critics have been saying about him for a long time. In this painting, there's a lot of little tiny sperm in the background. And then in the corner, in the frame, there's a little egg with little little sperms in it as well. That's kind of this guy's shtick. And I, th I think that's one of the fun things about it. You know, back in the day, uh, Playboy magazine would hide a little tiny bunny on every cover. And that was one of the fun things is you could look on the cover and try to find the hidden bunny. Uh, sometimes it would be... Like in the Playmate's hair, they would have a hair that would, that would make the shape of the bunny, or it might be a freckle or, or something like that. Uh, kind of like a Where's Waldo, you know, you try to find it. And that's what this guy does. He puts sperm in his paintings. In a lot of his paintings, he does this. So I went back and looked at some art bulletin boards to see what people were talking about last year when it was announced that he would be the artist for Obama. And here's a post from October 16th of last year from King V. It says, I'm curious what he will come up with. I read a little bit about him, and I was surprised about a few things. Okay, number two, I wonder if Obama's portrait will have a lot of sperm on it. This seems to be a running theme. Well, that's interesting. It's as if people were expecting this. And see, that's the hilarious thing about Snopes' denial that this could even be a possibility, that this is some far right-wing propaganda. This artist, Gehinde Wiley, is known for putting sperm in his portraits. That's what he does. That's his shtick. People were talking about it prior to the portrait coming out. Hey, is this going to have sperm in it? And you can decide for yourself whether or not the vein on the side of Obama's head looks like a sperm cell. It looks like one to me, but I don't think that that makes me a far-right pundit or a right-wing propagandist. I'm just going with what I see. In fact, here is a description of one of his portraits. I pulled the audio from the Seattle exhibit that I went to, and the audio is for people that can't see. And so this is a verbal description of the portrait. Here it is. This is a painting of a man on a white horse ascending a rocky mountain in front of a red and gold ornamental pattern background. A swirling floral ornamental gold pattern with small silver squiggling sperm covers the dark red background and overlaps onto some of the rocks near the bottom of the canvas. A gold ornamental frame borders the painting. Sperm scatter on the bulbous ornamental corners, and a sculpted face hovers above the top center of the frame. I think it's pretty clear that this artist does like to put sperm cells in his paintings. Now, did he put one on the side of Obama's head? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Peace. You can help me reach my goal of 250 subscribers by clicking the like button subscribing. Thanks.